Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls 3. Let's see where adventures can be taking us next. So, in our last one, we defeated the Crystal Sage and worked our way through Crucifixion... Woods, I believe it's called. Now we're going to be heading on over in this direction. Getting closer and closer to the Cathedral of the Deep, as well as our Frozen Sorceries. So pretty soon we will have our Frozen Knight well underway. Up some of that twinkling titanite. Okay, we got an evangelist over here as well as some of these guys. This guy to get kind of further away. A fun time fighting them. Get the Herald set. We're also really close to picking up the Morning Star. We're gonna run through the fire. Oh, so did we. anything else up there. So how does the Herald set look on our character here? It's a little better against magic. It weighs a little less. Uh, I think our knight armor looks a little better. How about the pants, though? Okay, onward we go. I believe the Paladin Ashes are right over here, which will give us access to the Morning Star. Oh, that's pretty good range there. Got the frost. Some doing, but he is down. Of course, the paladin's ashes. I 
umbral ash of a worn-out paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. This paladin paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. Item over here. Titanite shard. Okay, we got another friend right up here. Spider shield. Right over here, we're about to pick up the crest shield as well. Which is a great shield that defends against dark magic. Okay, stability of our night shield is 48. So the crest shield is just better across the board. little heavier, but it'll be okay. There we go. We also forgot to pick up the Grass Crush Shield, so we'll have to pick that up as well. That's back in the Crucifixion Swamp area. Oh, can't go that way. Dogs everywhere. <laughs> A large soul item, and there's that last dog. Always a fun time. knives, another Estus shard, and that's it for that section. Okay, the notched whip should be right over here. There we go. And of course, the one and only Gale. 
Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> Get our bonfire first. Okay, before we talk to Gale, let's actually head on over to Crucifixion Woods and pick up that Grass Crush Shield. Before we forget about it again. Because you never know when you might want it. Because there are times you might want to switch out the Chloranthi Ring and you can pop on the Grass Crush Shield and get the same effect. And it's pretty easy to get, it should be right over here. There we go. Oh, I'm being invaded. That's nice. Forgot all about that person. Probably go up this way. See, Hazel does that invisible stuff. There we go. There's Hazel. Should pop up around here somewhere. And there we go. <laughs> Hazel Pick and Xanthan Crown. Okay, let's actually travel to Firelink real quick as well. Get that Estus Shard taken care of. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from thee. Okay, I've got to get that intelligence up to 15. 18 for snap freeze, 15 for frozen weapon. Farewell, so we Ashen are one. getting closer. Large tight okay, knight. Oh, right, the uh, paladin's ashes. I want to do that. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Okay, so if we head on over, we should be able to pick up. There we go. Hammer with a sharp spike on its pummel. One of the more barbaric cleric weapons. The sharp thorns allow the strike weapon to induce bleeding. Which is what we are trying to achieve here. Figure for enemies that can't easily frost, they might have a better chance of being bled. And has a different type of damage. It's more like a strike damage rather than slash and thrust. So that should cover all of our bases. Might be too heavy to have on, so we're gonna switch out our Earthel Straight Sword. Because we're gonna get Frozen Weapon very soon anyway. Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Okay, we might be able to reinforce. 
You need 330 souls, okay. Pretty <laughs> like that. Okay, there we go. Just ah. one. Plus two, it's a little Pretty better. Be careful. Don't think we have any. Nope. Okay. So travel on over back to the cleansing chapel. Kind of going on a fetch quest at the moment. <laughs> Trying to fetch frozen weapon, potentially snap freeze as well. So getting snap freeze is much harder. Merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash. To kindle flame. It's always interesting when you meet Gale like this, knowing that you have quite the encounter much later on. Wait, you've... you've the same scent as that woman. Then you must be an action one. You must be. Oh, you don't know how long I've searched. Oh, 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 don't mind me, didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One. I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, thank you. Day of Ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Always such a cool scene. And then the ashes were too. <laughs> I swear every single character in Dark Souls has that laugh. <laughs> the good ones, the nice ones, the mean ones, the crazy ones. <laughs> They'll have great senses of humor. Okay, here we go. Hmm. <sighs> okay, Rhyme Blue Moss Clump. Just because it is a frost item, let's take a quick look. Moss Clump radiating gentle heat and light reduces frost buildup, cures frostbite status. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Weapons imbued with frost are a rare thing indeed, most of them originating in the Boreal Valley. Ah. 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 Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. 
For this is a true haven of the forlorn, the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Well, that's comforting. Ah, you're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweet... Okay, I think we got all his dialogue. Always kind of creepy and interesting at the same time. And of course... Painted World of Ariandal. Really cool spot. And we're not going to explore too much here. We're just kind of trying to pick up some items. If we can. We'll fully explore when we actually return to this area. Poison gem. I think we're just trying to get through here. And run our way along, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> so angry. Got another rhyme blue moss clump, of course. And we're gonna quickly run over this way. Sorry, wolves. We're kind of on a mission here. Oh boy. Okay, we're real close now. Quick get this fire, of course. Okay, reset everything. And frozen weapon should be right along this way. Trees are really cool over here, though. Black fire bombs. <laughs> and frozen weapon. One of the spells left behind by the young sorcerer Sullivan before leaving the painted world. Imbues right hand weapon with frost. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting. It had little use for his frigid homeland, since he had not yet experienced loss. Pretty interesting. Of course, the effect that they're doing right now is kind of like Snap Breeze. Breath of frozen, frigid air. Okay, now Snap Freeze is a little harder to get. <laughs> but we will give it a try here. And 
seeing as we are here already, we might as well at least start talking to Sister Frida. Of course, I think there's an item right over here. Hello, Jim. One of these playthroughs will make a hollow character that uses those, because those can be kind of interesting. Well, you look to be unkindled. No bell tolls. And yet you've slipped into the painting. Ah, oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. What's keeping you? Go on. Right inside. Show respect. Okay, we'll grab this fire real quick. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. I am Frida. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemeth not, ashen one. I know not the missteps which led thee to this painted world. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee. The bonfire, here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. Ah, yes. There is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. Ours is a chance encounter, to be sure. But perhaps it was meant to be. Let this be a remembrance of this cold world. A thing to help thee bear thy duty. Chill bite ring. Now, return from whence thou camest. Thou'st a place in that world, and that alone is cause to rejoice. Now, thou'st a place... Okay, got all of her dialogue, and let's check out that ring real quick. One of the bite rings native to Kareem increases frost resistance. The string would never grace Frida's hand, for the painting and its frost became her home. Very interesting. I don't think there's anything up there at the moment. So no need to climb the ladder. Let's knock that bridge down. This might take several tries, because it's not super easy to get to. The ring, um, the sorcery of Snap Freeze is all the way down there. But before you can get all the way down there, you have to go through this root system, which is just lovely. Full of fun enemies and all kinds of treasure adventure. Let's hop on down here, I think. Oh, oh boy. Probably over here might be easier. Nothing that way.
friend here. Should be able to head on over this way next. Okay, another ember. Okay, now the hard part is getting through this section. The issue, of course, is also we are pretty low on health, so if we fall, it's not going to go well. Okay, we look pretty good here. Let's get to that fire real quick. Take care of him now. And there we go. Whew. <laughs> Things are looking a little better now. Okay, so now what we have to do is get all the way over, I think this way. Kind of ignore the crabs for now. As cool as they are. Not our friends. One more bone. Awesome, awesome area though. Such an enchanting section. Oh, do we have to actually kill... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, snap freeze. Okay, now what we can do is take that homeward bone and get right up out of here. Whew. Quite the task. But we have snap freeze now. And snap freeze... One of the spells left behind by the young Sorcerer Sullivan before leaving the Painted World creates a cloud of near-freezing mist. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting. So same description, okay. Pretty cool. Oh, we can get intelligence up to 18, and we're at 14 at the moment. We're 30 minutes in here, so we might be wrapping this up pretty soon. The only thing we can do is head on over to the Cleansing Chapel. Kind of take out the bottom section and then probably wrap this one on up. Fire for this one. Let's throw on some fire bombs. Because these enemies are so much fun. Century Belvine. Now 
Now the Saint Tree Belvine is for miracles, of course, so there's no need for us to take a look at that. But I believe it has faster casting, if I remember correctly. Okay, some more Twinkling Titanite. Shard. go. Another Titanite scale. I don't think we'll be using a boss weapon in this playthrough though. Can't think of any off the top of my head. Soul of a Deserted Corpse and Poison Bite Ring. Because the only one that would have made sense would have been Bort's Hammer, but we opted for the Pontiff Ring instead. Okay, we should be able to get 15 Intelligence now. And then we do a quick showcase of Frozen Weapon and wrap this one on up. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak that. Very well, then take no- Okay, awesome. Farewell, Ashen One. Let's see, do we have enough Titanite Shards now to upgrade our Morningstar to plus three? That is what need. We do not. We need one more. So close. Ready. Can we buy one? Not yet, but soon, okay. Ashen one. Oh, we can buy that sorcerer staff though. Cause I don't think we have the intelligence. Nineteen and sixteen, okay. There we go. Staff used to cast sorceries. A common catalyst given to sorcerers of Vinheim Dragon School. Equip a catalyst to use sorceries. Okay. Pick that up. Ashen one. Ooh, we are a little heavy. Yeah, okay. What do we have to change out here? Let's see, 5.1, 3.7. Still a little heavy. Still a little heavy. Too bad. Okay, we're looking okay now. But 
Attuned Spell and throw on Frozen Weapon. Now just to show it off. Let's take a look at some enemies. Course scale is now gone. There we go. You can see our weapon is now covered in frost. Really cool looking. I'm actually still surprised getting snap freeze went as smoothly as it did. Kind of thinking that was going to take a couple tries. One of the issues with these enemies is they might be a little too weak. One hit is really... I wonder if this would be a better showcase down here. These enemies are a little stronger. Rocked on him. A large soul, and just for fun, put it on the Morning Star. Because now we're going to get frost and bleed damage. Plus, it looks kind of cool. That should come in handy as well to get frost and bleed at the same time. That'll be pretty effective. Of course, the morning start is a little slower, but it should still do the trick. Especially against an enemy like the Deepen Princes. Because I don't think frost does anything to them. So having another alternative might come in handy there. I am kind of interested to see how Snap Freeze works against the Deacons of the Deep, though. That's going to be a pretty interesting time. But I think before we head through the Cathedral area, I think we should check out the Farron Swamp. Just because we've got to get Orbeck his scrolls, and there are some items there that we could use, such as upgrade items, and I think even... Well, I know that the, there's the Dragon Crest Shield, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in the Farron Swamp area that we we'll want to take a look at. But with that, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.